So I'm used to seeing a little bit of snow a few times in Pahrump from here in the winter. There's always snow up in the mountains on Mount Charleston. I've never seen this much snow. It snowed like literally three or four times in the wet past week here, going into the first of March today. And I've never seen the snow so heavy on the mountains and down so low. Really cool. We actually have a winter storm warning today. It was snowing like crazy at 6.30 and 7 o'clock this morning when I was getting up. So we're going to have to get a better look at some of these mountains that are just covered in snow. Kind of fun. Uh, come along with us, guys, and we'll show you what we see here in southern Nevada in the 1st of March. Welcome to spring. <laughs> So we're up on the east side of Perup now. These are the Spring Mountains and Charleston Peak is sort of hidden in the snow and the clouds up there. Charleston Peak is over 12,000 feet elevation. Perump is like 26 or 2,700 feet roughly. So quite a difference in elevation. Anyways, Charleston Peak has snow on it a lot of the winter and even into the fall and spring. It's really pretty when it does. All of these other mountains do not often, they do sometimes, but not often have snow on them. We're looking up here, and this may not show up on the camera, but even in the foothills here, we're seeing snow on the ground or on the creosote and everything. I don't think I've ever seen that but one time before when we had snow uh, down in the valley when I was here. Now, it happens, of course, but it's not like super common, so it's kind of cool. All the mountains all around town. Pahrump is a valley. It's in a valley. They call it the Pahrump Valley, and it's kind of a north-south valley. It's fairly wide and very long north to south, but fairly wide east to west. It's surrounded by mountains on both sides. And really to the south with its, uh, um, like the Red Rock Canyon down there in the Spring Mountains and stuff. But it's really cool with all the mountains covered in snow. And it's, it's if it's not the heaviest snow I've ever seen in these mountains, it's certainly among one of the t heaviest times I've seen the snow on these mountains. It's deep and it just keeps snowing day after day after day in the mountains. And again, we have a winter storm warning. They're saying one to two feet of snow up above 7,000 feet, which of course includes Charleston Peak here. And then there's like six inches or so in the lower elevations at like 4,000 feet. So we're just below that. We did have snow this morning, but it has not accumulated. But I'm seeing, again, I'm seeing just up there, I can see snow on the ground at the base of the mountains. We're not gonna go up there. Normally I would, but the ground is so wet and there's so much snow that I don't dare to take either the Prius or the cargo van up there. So we're not going any further up today for safety reasons, because you guys would never see this video then because we'd be stuck up there probably so we're not gonna do that but really cool seeing this scenery i uh, hope you guys enjoy these views we've been having a blast uh just enjoying seeing it so we're gonna look around a little more on our way back to camp and i'm gonna fire up the griddle and make some breakfast and another pot of coffee
Reason number one to never film yourself making breakfast. That is the worst thing I've ever tried to crack. I don't know what's going on right now. Well, I still broke the yolk, but that's better. Usually I can make a whole batch of eggs and not break them. Oh, success. I'm having a hard time with the temperature control today because the wind is getting too hot or too cold. Alright, they should taste okay, but this is the worst batch of eggs I've made in a long time. And unfortunately, the camera's rolling so you could experience the pain and the shame with me. So that said, we're going to try and eat them, see if it tastes okay. Melanie's <laughs> just having one patty this morning. He says, I'm giving her the one egg that's not broke and the second egg that's only sort of broke. She said, I did not have to do that, but do come that. on, guys, you know, you know how it is. Thank you. Clean the griddle later.